We're going back to the basics today, wardrobe basics that is, and today I'm sharing the essential tops you want to have in your wardrobe. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Hi ladies, it's Beth. Thanks so much for stopping by today. And a very warm welcome if this is your first time visiting. Hit the subscription box down below and the notification bell so you don't miss any content coming your way. And if you're wondering what kind of content this channel shares, it's all about aging with grace, strength, and beauty. So you'll find skincare, beauty, makeup, health and wellness, and of course, fashion that we're talking about today. So like, share, and comment so the YouTube algorithm is happy and more women exactly like you who want to stay modern, fresh, and relevant will discover the content. But let's talk about those essential tops in your wardrobe. Today we're talking about the wardrobe basics and we're breaking it down into the essential tops. And if you missed the first video of this series, it's just a little mini series, and that is three easy steps to clean your closet and that's linked right up above. But the essential tops, wardrobe basics. So what are the wardrobe basics? Well, they aren't glamorous. They don't have a bow on it. There are no ruffles, but these are the pieces that are going to build a hard working wardrobe for you. And you want to start with the neutrals. So that's white, gray, camel, black, and I like to add army green or some variation of green because green just goes beautifully with everything. The basics really are going to span the seasons. So it's going to help you transition from summer into fall and fall into winter. And you can never have too many basics on hand. And you can, you know, all the major retailers out there, Gap, you know, the Gap family for sure does, you know, Old Navy and Banana Republic and the Gap. Talbots. Um, you can go very high end if you want to, but you don't necessarily need to when it comes to the basics. So let's take a look at my list of essential tops. So first up is a classic t-shirt and this mighty little warrior, I really call them that because they honestly go with everything. You can wear them in the summertime all by themselves with a denim skirt, or you can layer them underneath a, a button up. You can layer them under a v-neck. And again, you want to start with the neutrals, but don't forget a Breton stripe is a beautiful classic to have in your wardrobe as well. And it again, will spice up so many of your outfits. And next on my list is a crew neck sweater. And this really is the foundation of your fall and winter wardrobe. And you can find them in many, many different fabrics. So you can have the merino wool, you can have cashmere, you can have a silk blend, cotton. The list really is endless. So a crew neck sweater, again, it's very much like the classic tee. So you can wear it all by itself, looks fantastic with a pair of jeans. You can pop it over a button up for an extra layer of warmth. They look great tucked under blazers and you can dress them up and you can dress them down. So again, start with that neutral palette, blacks, whites, grays, and then branch out into the colors that you like. So on my list is the white button up. And again, this is a very versatile, iconic, classic staple that you really truly want to have in your wardrobe. And I do have readers write in and perhaps they're large chested. They have a difficult time finding a button up that is going to fit them. Uh, that's when I would suggest an oversized white button up. And yes, they are out there. They're a little bit longer. They're a little bit looser fitting. So I would actually try that. Or you could also try a popover and a popover is not a traditional button up because it doesn't, uh, it only buttons about three quarters of the way. So one of the things that I like to do with my white button up is tie it like I'll pop it over a t-shirt and then I tighten a little bunny tie and that's also a great little style technique for I have a lot of people that are right in for a large tummy and you can actually tie it but you, you tie it a little bit looser and you can bring it down over your pants and it really does help with a, uh, a larger tummy but back to the white button up again so versatile so crisp Wear it all by itself with a pair of blue jeans. Again, you can layer it underneath a sweater, 
As I just suggested, you can tighten the bunny tie, under blazers, just the list goes on and on. So I always recommend a white button down, button up in your closet. Next on my list is the blazer. And what can I say that I haven't said about a blazer? If you followed the blog or the YouTube channel for any length of time, you know that I'm a big fan of a polished blazer. And it's part of my style uniform, which is blazer, button up blue jeans and ballet flats. But again, a blazer will take you places that you need to go with your wardrobe. They instantly bring chic to a pair of humble blue jeans, or you can wear one with a pencil skirt to work, or again, you can dress it down for the weekend with just a, a pair of chinos, or I even have even worn blazers with shorts. So lots of versatility. I would go with a classic navy or a black. Herringbone, again, is a very classic choice. So lots of options out there, but definitely put a blazer into your essential tops for a hard working wardrobe. And if you're looking for inspiration, we're floating photos in showing you how I wear the basics, but I also have a blog post written and I will link that down below in the description box. So, and next on my list is an oversized blazer because they are having such a moment these days and they're, they're looser and they're oversized. So I really want you to pay attention to your proportions when you wear one. And they look absolutely fantastic when you have a, a pair of like cigarette pants or a very, you know, if you're still wearing skinny jeans, I'm wearing skinny jeans. They look great with skinny jeans. So again, you just want to think about the rule of proportion. So when something is a little bit looser, larger, more flowy on top, you want to think slimmer down on the bottom. So definitely think about an oversized blazer and they're great to substitute in place of a jacket. Next on my list is a denim or a chambray shirt. And yes, there is a difference. Denim is a little bit heavier. Chambray is a little bit lighter and softer. And it usually has a, a more a lighter rinse attached to it. But I love these. They're just as versatile as a white button down. You can, you know, again, wear them with white jeans. They look absolutely fantastic. Or a pair of black jeans. Those are my go-tos. Again, it's just a very easy style recipe to throw either one of those outfits together. But they call that the Canadian tuxedo or a Texas tuxedo. But again, denim on denim is really having a moment. So having a denim or a chambray shirt at your beck and call is definitely worth it. I love also to pair them with a denim skirt. So I like a lighter rinse on top and a darker rinse on bottom. That's usually how I go. But if I really can uh, mix the rinses together, I like to wear it like that too. And I'll even pop a jean jacket over the top. And last but not least is a blouse. And a blouse, again, is like a button up, but it's much more feminine. And again, they span the seasons. So you can have a beautiful silk blouse that's going to look absolutely beautiful in the winter time as well as the summertime. A hard working wardrobe is always built on the basics. I hope you found some helpful information today. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Of course, leave a comment down below and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.